Hi, I'm Jeff Halavy. They say variety is the spice of life. And when it comes to your workouts, it's a key ingredient to keeping fitness fun. We're putting the fun back in fitness today on Workout From Within. We're putting the fun back in fitness, not to your chest, but more to your hip area. There you go. That's it, let's go, come on. We gotta live it. Welcome back. Today we're making fitness fun, and what better way to make fitness fun than by mixing some stuff up, a mashup. So we're gonna mix up cardio and martial arts with Patricia Moreno. Welcome, Patricia. I'm happy to be here. So I'm so interested to hear what this is about. I love mashups, you whether do? it's music or fitness. I'm a little bit of a, of a fitness Frankenstein myself. <laughs> so how are we mixing up cardio and martial arts today? Well, what we're doing is I'm combining some jump rope exercises, okay. some punching drills, but the real interesting part is I'm adding affirmations. I call them miracle-causing mantras so that you can shift your mindset because for something to be fun, it's a mindset, really. So we're doing a combination, it almost sounds like meditation, martial arts, and cardio. Absolutely. It's a three for one. Yeah, three I love for it. One. I'm all for efficiency. It's even more than a mashup. How, how do we, because I don't see any jump ropes, so we're, 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 how are we doing this? We're doing a virtual jump rope. What I okay. love about the virtual jump rope, because one, you can do it anywhere, but two, you don't have to have the skill set, and you can really focus on getting the endurance. Now, right. I learned to jump rope with a, a tie jump rope, which is like, is about as thick as a garden hose. Oh, yeah. And it's horrible, and I'll tell you why, because you hit your toes, very, very painful. Very painful. Yeah. So it, it's not it's not half bad working with a with the virtual jump rope to yeah, start. To yeah. To start because you can also get the action. And what we're talking right. about is a feeling, right? Cool. We want to wake up a feeling. So I want to show you first the punching things that we're okay. going to do. So I, I teach people the on guard position. Okay. And then the first punching is just being alternating cross right. punches, right? And I call this exercise strong. So instead of calling it a, a punch, I say let's do strength. And then I give you the affirmation to say so that you can call up. Up your strength instead of complaining and talking about what's not going right. So, are you ready to do it? I'm, I'm already here. Okay, Let's say, tell me what I need so to say. So, you have to say, I am strong now. You say it. I am strong now. Now, say it like with feeling. <laughs> I am. Go faster. Strong now. Say it. I am strong now. Now. Okay, good. Now shake right. that out. You would do that for like a minute. Okay. So the thing is, you're interrupting your old way of thinking. Yes. And instead of, I call this line, instead of using your words to describe your situation, I'm tired, I'm weak, I'm strong. Use your words to transform your situation. I agree. Nothing creates emotion like motion. So you can anchor in the way you feel through these affirmations and doing things that make you yeah, feel powerful. Yeah, and literally rewire your thinking. I agree with you. So then I'm going to the post called intention. It's the exercise. We use it as a jumping rope. But you know what's really important? Important here, like when you're boxing and you're doing this, you have this little wrist action. Some double unders. Yeah, yeah, there yeah, we go. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever you can do, but I like to have people have the elbows in really tight uh -huh. and really move oh, look the at forearms. Cross. You can do the cross. Yeah, yeah. You can do the, see. Look how good I am. Like, ooh, wow, wow, wow. It's fun stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, you just keep putting in anything that makes right. you so feel. Supposed to keep jumping rope now. Or? Now I'm going to show you the next okay. exercise. Right. Throw the jump I rope. Call, <laughs> yeah, let's throw right there. Now I call this one inspired. Okay. Right. So inspiring yourself to stay in the game is really part of what makes it fun. Okay. You feel like you can do it. So guard up. Okay. So we're doing uppercuts, uppercuts, and switch, and switch, and switch. So we're going to do slow, two, three. Now you're going to go as fast as you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, slow. Four, three, two, speed it up. Go fast, 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 slow. Up, 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 and fast, fast. Now here we're going to add the affirmation. Okay. I I am inspired now. Go one, uh, two, three, oh, four, five, five, six. Oh, what was We're supposed to say the affirmation. Yeah, you are. Say it with me. I'm feeling it. You're doing We're having a moment. Let's do it together. All right. Say, I <laughs> am inspired now. now. Go one, two, three, four, five, six. Say it again. I, I am inspired now. now. One, two. Come on. Let's do one more. All one right. more. One more. <laughs> I am inspired. Now, now go, 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 go. Now you do a jump rope segment. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in? Yeah, so okay. let's do like a double. Let's get a little bit fancy. Just go double, but knees really high. But remember, the arms are still active. Right. What I love about adding the cardio sections to this is it's endorphin producing. I know okay, you know yeah, absolutely. So as soon as you're, it's continuous for Sorry. like 20 minutes. <laughs> we keep on smacking ropes here. I know, but we're a good team. <laughs> I think we're good together. So then, okay, you drop that, heart rate's up, but you 
you don't want the heart rate to drop, right. you go back to the punch called okay. champion. champion. So champion's a hook. Okay. Hook, yep. switch, hook. So you go hook, 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 hook. I am programmed for victory. That's your turn. I am programmed, programmed for, for victory. victory. And go. All right, I'm programmed, programmed for, for victory. victory. Come on, like you mean it. This should have been useful when I fought in the ring. I know, you should have had me there. As an amateur I, fighter for years, but I was thinking, I hope this I, guy <laughs> doesn't kick my butt. Exactly. I hope this guy. Should have been I like, like that program I, for victory one I'm more. I'm programmed for victory. No <laughs> obstacle can defeat me. All right, no obstacle can defeat me. No obstacle can defeat me. Oh, no obstacle can defeat me. Awesome, awesome, <laughs> awesome. But you can see how it just energizes yeah, you, right? Yeah, absolutely. So many people are in the exercise and they're like, oh, this will never work. I'm too uh -huh. tired. But even a little bit, even a little bit, five minutes changes and alters your right. mood. But then when you get to 20 minutes, it really moves you into a different state. Right, we're mind. working the whole body. The whole body. And the mind. And the mind. And the mind is the first part, right? So once your mind is in alignment with the victory that you are standing for, right. the actions are inspired from there. And I'm a big advocate of really going both <laughs> ways, too, where, you know, sometimes you have the feeling and it inspires what you do with your body, and sometimes it's the other way around. Mm -hmm. So I think it is possible, you know, to, um, to change your mental state mm -hmm. by what you do with your physical Oh, completely. Well. Yeah. I know that's a big part of mine, that when I'm in a state where I don't feel inspired, I've got to move. I've got to really get into action so that I can think more clearly. Patricia, we're on the same page. Stick around because Patricia's sticking around. I'm definitely sticking okay, around. Okay, awesome. You're sticking around. And coming up later on, simulated surfing in your living room. Wow. We need to do a uh, double dunk. Welcome back. Today we're putting the fun back in fitness. And fitness and exercise are things that can empower you. So it's not just the fun, it's the empowerment that you get from it. And who better to talk to about it than Patricia Moreno. Welcome back, Patricia. Welcome, I'm glad to be here. So what is it about exercise that is empowering? You know when you're taking positive action, when you want to change something in your life and you really take a positive action, that shifts your mindset from worrying and complaining and it's a total shift of perception. Mm -hmm. I'm in action, I'm doing something and when people are doing something for themselves, it feels good because you stop the other mindset that feels so static. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And um, how, how have you been able to, you know, I guess, help people by empowering them and, and using exercise as that tool, that medium? Well, I've been in the fitness industry for 20 years. I don't believe yeah, that. Yeah. That I would started, put you at what, 25? So you started when you were five? Yeah. <laughs> I started when I was in high school, like before I even got into high school, uh -huh. because I was so overweight. And I wanted to really... You were overweight. I was. I was 215 pounds. Wow. Yeah. And so for me, it's been this lifelong struggle. So I wanted to create exercise practices that would really help people take action in their lives. And I really felt that exercise was one part of it. Diet was another part of it. <clears throat> Excuse me, but the mental component mm -hmm. is one part that a lot of people never really focused on. And so I wanted to bring that conversation into fitness and help people really access their ability to shift themselves from the inside mm -hmm. out. And, and I think it's really important for, you know, for our viewers to understand too that there's really, there's a chain of beliefs, thoughts, and actions. And until you start to change those beliefs, you make a shift in your global beliefs, will your thoughts eventually change? And once your thoughts change, your actions will, will, will change. I mean, th this is one of the things that, I mean, I struggled with this myself. I, um, I ended up in, in rehab at a pretty young age. Um, I suffered a major depression, and I, I didn't know what depression was mm -hmm. until I suffered. I literally did not leave a recliner at my parents' house for months. Wow. I mean, I, I got up, I, th I don't even remember going to the bathroom. I mean, I, I got up to only go to the bathroom, but like I had this hoodie that I wore, and it was horrible. And as a matter of fact, my, uh, my father tried to kind of snap me out of it, and he suggested I go jog a mile with him. And wow. about three minutes into trying to jog this mile, I was like hands on knees, lungs burning. I was over 250 pounds at this wow. point in time. And it wasn't like, you know. Muscle. Yeah. <laughs> this was, it was not yeah. so good. I wasn't exactly at my healthiest. But there was definitely this, this shift that occurred when, you know, my father was the one 
who brought to my attention that my physical health had deteriorated so much. And by changing what I did with my physical person, it did have this impact on the beliefs I had about myself and my thoughts. And it just created, instead of a vicious cycle, really like a positive wow. you know, uh, yeah. uh, cycle. So is that something that you've seen? You know, Obviously, you've had this type of change within yourself. But is this something you've seen with your clients over the years? Yeah. I mean, because I have been teaching for so long, I still kept step kept meeting people that were, even though they were working out, there was still another piece that they needed to turn around. And mm -hmm. what we were coming up against was they never believed that they could really attain it for a lifelong, for their lifelong journey. Right. So I really started to add the component of the visualization, right? The meditation and getting people to understand that we're not our thoughts, but we have thoughts. Right. And that when you start to witness your thoughts, wow, I'm being mean or wow, I'm being negative. How can I turn that around and really uh, feeling that power within you to be able to cause that inward change is like the piece that a lot of people are forgetting about. Absolutely. I mean, it's like the uh, fa very famous quote, uh, whether you believe you can or you believe you can't, you're right. So yeah. it comes down to changing your beliefs. Yes. Habits. Habits. Habits are very, very important. And you know a tremendous amount about fostering these habits. Can you talk to me a little bit about how habits help shape, you know, obviously people's behavior, but how you use these habits to, to tweak people's mindsets? Yeah. Yeah, sure. I mean, I have people really realize that what we're doing now is a habit. How we eat is a habit, how we exercise or don't exercise. And that habits really, once they're ingrained, make things, make us do things more easily. Right. So if we can just, instead of thinking about getting rid of a habit, we empower a new habit and the old habit dissolves, mm -hmm. right? So I have people remember that the excuses that they say over and over or the things that they say to get themselves to not fulfill on the new habit that mm -hmm. they want to fulfill are just momentary obstacles that they can't believe their excuses and they can't believe everything that they say to themselves. And you're really, you know, what you're saying right now is core to not only uh, uh, a lot of scientific research out there, but what I can say anecdotally, I, only, I not only work with people as an exercise coach, but I actually work with people, I have a background in both exercise science and behavioral health. So I see people wow. for behavioral health issues and I can tell you that you know, one of the best strategies that anybody can employ is to foster a new positive habit rather than dismantle an old negative one. And most of us focus on the negative. The mind only hears the negatives mm -hmm. and we end up repeating that same thing. And also to that end, I want to add that, you know, I believe we always say you are what you eat. Mm -hmm. I think it's beyond that. You are what you repeat. That's that's, great. that's really you know what what the sum of your life is about. So whether we're talking about healthy habits that you do with nutrition and exercise, or just even mentally how you you know how you experience life yourself, you know it, it really it, it shapes your everyday.